Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh Heron. Thanks for watching the Moto America YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. The flag marched at the back, moves to the left. Watch for the lights. We are getting ready. It's Aprilia, Aprilia and Yamaha on the front row of the grid. Lights out and away we go. What a cracking start from all of them on the front row of the grid. But look at Blake Davis. Blake Davis from the third row of the grid around the outside. And in fact, fourth position on the grid. My apologies, he moved up in qualifying. What a cracking start for the defending champion. Great start for him and Rocco coming around a couple guys. He didn't get a great jump, but he made a couple passes down into turn two. That was some impressive start from Blake Davis. Uh, and as I said, he had moved up in qualifying onto the second row of the grid. One of the bikes uh, coming out at the back of them. Is that Hayden, Hayden Schultz? Looks like Hayden. Yeah, I don't know whether he maybe had an issue uh, getting to the front. But I'll tell you what, Rocco Landers would not necessarily have expected that start from Blake Davis, the defending champion, the current points leader. That's, that's one way to start your race. And if you remember yesterday in that first qualifier, these two had a little a little run in on the track. So uh, I wonder if it's carrying over to the race today. Oh, and it's already started. Elbow in the face there. Rocco Landers takes the lead and looking on the inside too. And they both go through. Blake Davis then is demoted from first to third. And as you said, that little bit of confrontation that they had in qualifying has already uh, rubbed over into lap number one. But the leading three as Blake Davis lunges up the inside. Oh! And Davis then uh, goes across the curve manages to stay on what a start this is incredible <laughs> has anybody told them it's only lap one of 13 roger this, this is insane and you can see now what that's done is gave rocco about a, a one second lead now gus is going to have to put his head down and chip away don't try to get it all back in one lap but you can see uh, blake tries to make the pass back here in the chicane and gus isn't going to give it to him all there's right. two guys going for the same real estate and that's just racing yeah, just racing hard, but Finn, I don't think they touch. Oh, they did touch. Rodeo's pace towards the end of the race, arguably the fastest, and it has been for a while as Ravelli lunges up the inside. That is a beautiful move there from the Italian. And he, you'd never think he'd never been here before. That's a very impressive move. Yeah, great pass. Got himself in a good spot, getting into the corkscrew there on the inside and kind of had that line. It was almost like the same that we've seen between uh, Gus and Blake, but he was able to make a little bit more of a pass. Great aerial shots uh, once again there is uh, Rocco Landers just coming through the final corner. Rodeo just behind him. The gap comes down a little bit at the end of the lap. 30.5, 30.6. And again, Rodeo is matching Rocco Landers. That gap is uh, pretty much staying the same as across the line we go. Filippo Rivelli is there in fourth position. This is a great little five rider scrap for the final podium positions. Jackson Blackman as well, right there in seventh, right on the back of this group. Yeah, we saw on the graphic there as well, the fourth place finisher in that championship is around the outside goes Filippo Rovelli. And as you said, he doesn't know the circuit that well. And uh, he's going to maybe pay the price as this race goes on with some of these lines that he's taking. And you have to be careful with the new asphalt here. We talk, Everybody talks about being offline, how slick it is. Yeah. You know, if he gets a little bit offline, it could be, uh, could be trouble. Yeah, we saw fourth in the championship standings. As a little wheelie there from yeah. the Twins Cup. These bikes are not slow, are they? We see Rocco now on camera talking about a guy that hasn't put a wheel wrong. At Rocco's rode a perfect race so far, under the race record, under the track record, and just his consistency is what makes Rocco so good. He can just click off these laps, lap after lap. Through turn two then, a little over two miles separating Rocco Landers and what would be another win. He would extend the statistic as being the most winningest rider, if that's a word, uh, in the Twins Cup Championship. And here we go, this is the battle for third position, wheel to wheel, down over the crest. And this is a hard move, Blake Davis so late on the brakes and Dominic Doyle is going to go through. Davis is a bit smart there, he's going to try to pull it back, but Dominic Doyle, that was a masterclass at turn two. Yeah, great ride and you can already see Dom's actually pulled away a couple bike links now and it looks like the last Last couple laps, Dominic uh, had a little bit more pace with Blake. Blake looks like he's struggling a little bit with something toward the end of this race. Yeah, and again, he now has a couple of bike lengths advantage. It's not over because now Blake Davis will have that uh, advantage up the hill. Slipstream makes uh, makes all the difference. That was a beautifully executed move uh, there by Dominic Doyle. A little wheelie from uh, Blake Davis, which might have unsettled him just a little bit in the braking zone. Yeah, but Dominic was in line right there. Turn one was in a spot. He kind of owned the corner. The last lap, Dominic was over a second quicker than, than Blake, so you knew he was looking good toward the end of this race. Down through Rainey's, through turn 10 and into turn 11. The pole position, the fastest lap and a new circuit record. And unless he gets it all completely wrong, which he doesn't, a big long look over the shoulder. Rocco Landers wins the Twins Cup race by Revit. And uh, race number one in the books. It's another 25 points and he will now move 
to potentially the championship lead. It's all going to come down to the final corner and it looks as though as Rodeo has finished in second place, Dominic Doyle salvages third position and with only 13 points, I think Rocco Landers is the new championship leader by a point. Possibly. Maths wasn't my strong point, but he's <laughs> certainly in the mix. Tyler Duffy, career best in seventh, and Chris Parrish in ninth, Roger. Yeah, great. And, and uh, Dominic Doyle did his best lap, last lap of the race, so he had really good uh, last, uh, toward the end of the race pace. We've been talking about him, you know, putting the whole weekend together, eliminating mistakes, and he's been doing that the last couple weekends.